going to be competitive, you've got to outthink, outlearn, and outcreate your competition. Brain power is going to become your number one determiner for success in this world. Not anything else, brain power, because it's going to be only with brutal brain power that you'll be able to stay in control of a world that changes so fast. Now the question is, can we really keep up? And the answer is, without a doubt, if you understand the brain, there's no doubt that you have enough brain power to keep up. Why do we say that? If you take your brain like this and you cut it open, you'll see it consists of a whitish and grayish matter. This is where learning, thinking, and creativity happens. And you have a hundred billion brain cells. Do you know how much a hundred billion is? It will take you 3,000 years if you start counting now before you count it up to a hundred billion. That's a lot of brain cells. One brain cell have the potential, you see those little things there, the dendrites? They can grow anything from 20,000 to 100,000 connections per brain cell. So if you want to quantify brain power, it is not about how many brain cells you have in terms of understanding the power of development, human development and thinking and learning. Then you take 100 billion brain cells and you multiply that 100,000 times. That means you have the brain power to make between 2.5 to 3.5 billion connections per second in your head. Because if you are going to have a good long life, then you will exist for about 33,000 days on this planet. And you've got that type of brain power to try and use up. Bottom line, you don't have to be scared of do I have enough potential to keep up in a rapidly changing world. But it is what I do with my brain power. Now, you can compare your brain with the fastest car in the world, and at the time I compiled this slideshow, it was the Bugatti. That's the fastest car in the world. It will win any race in the world. Your brain is like that. Your brain will help you to win whatever rat race you are going to compete in, in this world will help you to do that. But sometimes people would say to me, Andre, it's fantastic what you tell me about the unlimited potential and the power of the brain. But just go look at the newspapers and then you tell me, where is that potential? Because you obviously don't see it in the newspapers. You see people doing idiotic things, stupid things. Now let's use the comparison of your brain is like this Bugatti. If I give you a Bugatti, but you are not aware that this is the most powerful motor car in the world, you're going to drive it like a sedan car to go do your shopping. You see, so one, you've got to be aware, accurately aware, of the capabilities of your mind, which most people are not. They have no idea of how they are smart, how they prefer to learn and think, how they process information, and what is the power that they have at their disposal. They think they have this, instead of realizing they have unlimited potential. First thing. Second, I give you that car, but you don't have a key to open the door and ignite the engine. What can I do with that potential? Nothing. So what keys do you have to accurately assess your true potential? We all have potential, but different types of potential. Some people have potential to be great sportsmen, others to be great scientists, others to be great musicians. What type of potential is it that you have? Do you understand that? Most people I work with, and if I say most, not 51%, 96, 98% of the people I work with are clueless about accurately being in touch with their true potential. Who they think they are and who they really can be are actually two totally different things. Three, I give you that car, but you don't have racing skills. Then you'll never be able to get the best out of that car. So you've got to have appropriate skills for what that car was designed to do. 
Many people have great potential, but they never develop appropriate skills. I can be the, have the potential to be the world's greatest marathon runner, but I just don't do anything with my potential, so I'm going to be nothing. Even though I had the potential to do it, I'm not going to be able to do it. Huge problem for the 21st century guy. Because we're getting lazy to learn. We spoke about it in the previous session. We're getting lazy to, to use the mind. The machine must do the, my, the learning for us now. The machine must do the calculation and the memory, memorizing for us now. That's where the problem comes in. I'll give you that car, but you put in the wrong fuel into that car. You put in water into the petrol tank instead of the right fuel. That car's engine is going to seize. You see the analogy here, your brain produces 20 to 25 watts of electricity, but it gets its electricity from a combination of the water you drink, the oxygen you breathe, and the food that you eat. But if you feed this brain preservatives, flavorants, colorants, drugs, excess caffeine, too much sugar, guaranteed you are not optimizing your performance. You are actually placing a limitation on its electromagnetic fu uh, electrochemical functioning. So your lifestyle often works against you getting the best out of your brain. But I give you that car, but you don't follow the maintenance plan. It's the world's fastest car, but it's not maintained. It will deteriorate over time. So what is the maintenance plan you have to optimize your brain? And that is a huge problem for many people. We don't have a maintenance plan. So what I'm saying is every time if we talk about the car, it's not the car's fault, but it's the owner of the car not being accurately aware or giving the car the wrong fuel or not having appropriate skills or not maintaining. It's not the car's fault. It's the owner. So what am I talking about here? I'm saying to you that we, are, we exist on three levels. We are body, mind, and spirit. So when it comes to the physical flesh part of your brain, zero limitation. But the mind and the spirit controls this flesh. That's the owner of this flesh. What do you do with this? You are the owner on a soul and a spiritual level of this car. What do you do with it? That's what we have to ask ourselves. If I don't learn the skills, if I choose to feed it the wrong, give it the wrong fuel, choose to not maintain it, well, what do you think is going to happen? But then it's not the brain's fault. It is the owner who is not practicing good maintenance of their brain. So what we need to have an understanding of is there are six drivers that influences your brain performance. And guys, if you really want to position yourself well, you are studying in this field of physiology, neurophysiology, neuro Maybe, hopefully, some of you neuropsychology and so forth. Bottom line, you're going to have to look at brain fitness. What am I going to do to be fit enough to keep up in the race, the challenging race that you saw this morning? Where change is escalating all the time. But it is essential that we need to look at the other drivers also. Now, the previous time we did look at brain fitness, so today I'm not going to spend a lot of time on brain fitness. We already dealt with that. But you need to determine where on this level of fitness do you lie in order to cope with a rapidly changing world. You want to really learn to deal with volumes of information, I tell you, not being brain fit, I don't care what your IQ is, you're just not going to be able to work through the masses of information that you are going to have to work through in your uh, academic um, uh, career. So the more I move towards the right, the easier it will be. The more I'm to the left, the less easy learning will be, and I don't care what your IQ is. So get that thing out of your head that, you know, I'm clever. The jail is full of clever people. Jails are full of clever people. And then we have people who are high school dropouts, like a Richard Branson, who become some of the richest <coughs> business entrepreneurs in the world. Clever alone is not going to bail you out anyway. But these components that we are talking about can lay a solid foundation for you.